Hi friends, two cousins, Pablo and Bruno used to live in an Italian village. They had big dreams of becoming the richest man in the village. Both Pablo and Bruno were hard working and intelligent individuals, always on the lookout for an opportunity. One day, an opportunity arose in the village. They needed two people to fetch water from a nearby river and this task was assigned to Pablo and Bruno. The villagers paid them one penny for each bucket of water. While Bruno saw this as a step towards realizing his dream, Pablo remained unsure. Lifting the heavy buckets caused Pablo physical pain, leading him to contemplate alternative methods. One day he approached Bruno with a new idea. Instead of hauling buckets daily, they could install a pipeline from the river to the village. This would eliminate the need for manual labor and bucket filling. However, Bruno was disinterested in the pipeline idea. He preferred the instant monetary gain he received from manual labor and dismissed Pablo's suggestion. Bruno focused on filling more buckets to increase his earnings while Pablo split his time between bucket filling and pipeline construction during breaks. Pablo recognized that his plan required substantial effort and sacrifices. He understood that the short-term pain he endured would pave the way for long-term success. The villagers taunted him with the nickname Pablo the Pipeline Man when they saw limited progress after a couple of months. Meanwhile, Bruno's income doubled as he continued to fill buckets. He upgraded his lifestyle, bought a new house and became known as Mr. Bruno in the village. Yet, over time, the physical strain of bucket filling took a toll on Bruno, leaving him tired and despondent. Villagers started mocking him as Bruno the Bucket Man. Despite the challenges, Pablo preserved with his pipeline project. After several months, he completed half of the installation, which significantly expedited the process. He dedicated more time to pipeline construction and continued to remind himself that today's sacrifices were essential for tomorrow's dreams. Bruno eventually realized that his body couldn't sustain the demanding task of lifting heavy buckets daily. He fell into a state of sadness and was labeled Bruno the Bucket Man. Meanwhile, Pablo's determination paid off and after years of hard work, he finished the pipeline. Pablo's pipeline provided round-the-clock fresh water to the villagers, significantly boosting his earnings. His setup allowed him to earn even while resting or enjoying intermission activities. Consequently, Bruno became unemployed as villagers turned to Pablo's pipeline for their water needs. In the end, Pablo's patience, dedication and long-term vision transformed him from Pablo the Pipeline Man into a successful entrepreneur, while Bruno's focus on short-term gains left him as the Bruno the Bucket Man facing unemployment and regret. Pause for a moment and ponder, are you a bucket carrier or a pipeline builder? Do you find yourself working daily like Bruno the Bucket Man to earn money? Or would you rather invest effort over time like Pablo the Pipeline Man and reap rewards even while sleeping? In this world of bucket careers, we are often taught that working harder is the key to earning more money, that we need to pull more buckets and trade our time. However, this notion is far from the truth. The author suggests that to appear rich, one should spend all their income. This portrayal gives the illusion of wealth. However, to attain financial freedom and true wealth, the strategy shifts to saving money as true wealth is money left untouched. Identifying wealth isn't straightforward as it remains concealed. Health and wealth are two crucial aspects of life that significantly influence us, whether we actively engage with them or not. Turning to health, modern science has made remarkable strides. We possess solutions to numerous ailments, and scientific studies have unveiled the workings of the human body. Yet, when it comes to wealth-related advice, who should we consult? A gap exists in our knowledge of how money operates. People continue to shy away from investing, leading to financial illiteracy and a cycle of debt. In today's era, North Americans rank highest in terms of working hours compared to all other countries, surpassing even the Japanese. However, their consumer debt remains at an all-time high. This raises a pertinent question, if being a bucket man is undesirable, why do the majority adhere to this lifestyle? The answer lies in our upbringing. Society, educators and the entire education system instill the concept of becoming a Bruno, the bucket man. They teach us how to secure a job but rarely guide us to think like Pablo the Pipeline Man. It's a common belief that those with high paying jobs must be happier. Yet, the author contends that the so-called secure dream job is an illusion. Regardless of the salary, as long as you trade time for money, you remain ensnared in the cycle of bucket carrying. The choice remains, embrace the pipeline mentality and work diligently to build a foundation that yields ongoing returns or continue the bucket carrying approach that limits your potential for financial independence. Daryl Strawberry, a successful baseball player, used to earn $5 million annually solely from playing baseball. He accumulated $100 million in earnings from various brand deals and personal endorsements before reaching his 40th birthday. 
at first glance it might seem that he wouldn't encounter financial problems with such a substantial sum however that was not the case when strawberry faced a suspension from baseball he lacked an alternate income source over time it was revealed that he had no savings to support his wife and three children the question arises what happened to his 100 million dollars the answer is straight forward he spent it lavish homes sports cars extravagant living as well as drugs and alcohol depleted his entire wealth Contrastingly, in a small town, there resided a school teacher named Margaret and Donald, who dedicated 50 years to teaching in a single school, despite receiving a modest salary of just a few hundred dollars. Upon her passing at the age of 100, it was discovered that her net worth was nearly 2 million dollars. This outcome might perplex you. How could a woman with a low income have amassed such wealth? The idea is rather simple. Although Margaret earned a meager salary, she consistently invested a small portion of her income in stocks every month. This approach facilitated the gradual construction of a long-term pipeline. On the other hand, Daryl Strawberry, despite earning millions of dollars, never contemplated building his financial pipeline. Psychological studies have indicated that individuals lifestyle, income, health and education influence their overall happiness. The happiest individuals are those who exert control over their own lives. This notion resonates with the adage money doesn't buy happiness which holds true. Happiness isn't contingent on money. It hinges on the freedom that money can provide. Before 1440, books were handwritten, requiring an hour of work for an hour's worth of results. Publishing a book took years. However, Gutenberg introduced the world's first printing press. This machine's leverage allowed 100 hours of work to be completed in just 1 hour. Similarly, CEOs of companies hire employees to leverage their time. Imagine opening a restaurant you can't manage dishwashing and wait stuff alone you can only do one task at a time but hiring employees grants you leverage over their time enabling multiple tasks to be accomplished simultaneously today the internet is the ultimate leverage tool you no longer need to carry water from a river to construct a pipeline you can build your digital pipeline from home utilizing the internet's power Through content creation you can reach millions of people creating your e-commerce stores is now possible it operates 24 into 7 without your direct involvement customers can purchase products from your website at any time the hathar terms this concept the he pipeline the 21st century's premier pipeline it generates income whether you are asleep or on vacation whether you accept it or not the internet is the era of most potent pipeline Okay friends this information is derived from the book the parable of the pipeline if you wish to know more details you can simply buy it thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel for more interesting topics